Hey guys, in this video we are going to look at solving an ordinary differential equation using the Runge-Kutta method. Um, so let's look at exa an example which says y prime is equal to negative 2 x y to the power of 2 and the initial conditions given to you is y at 0 is equal to 1 also your step size h is equal to 0 0.2 these are the conditions that are given to you okay and we are trying to solve this using the rk4 method well you can use rk2 rk3 or the hewins method but i'm just trying to show you the rk4 method since it involves a lot of work. Uh, what we're trying to find here is yn plus 1 value, this value. And from the previous video, you must have noted down that yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus 1 sixth h times k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4. That's the formula to calculate yn plus 1 value. So we would start the solution by finding the k1, k2, k3, and k4 values. k1 is equal to function at xn plus yn. What exactly is xn and yn? Uh, these are the values uh, that can be found out by plugging in the initial conditions of x and y into the main function. And the initial conditions that, given, that are given to us um, is y0 is equal to 1 and x0 is equal to 0 from here y at 0 is equal to 1, so x0 is equal to 0 and y0 is equal to 1. So plug these values of x and y's into the function and you would get negative 2, 0, um, that's 1 squared, and your k1 value is 0. Moving on to k2, um, k2 formula says function at xn plus half h yn plus half h times k1. Now we know that k1 value is 0 so you can just neglect this term and this becomes negative 2 and this turns out to be 0 0.1 and this is 1 squared. So your k2 value is just negative 0 0.2 and now we are trying to find k3 value and the function says and the formula says it is a function xn plus half h and yn plus half h times k2 this is negative 2 0 0.1 again and your y value is 1 plus uh, 0 0.2 over 2 times negative 0 0.2 and this value turns out to be 1 plus 1, 2, 2, 5, 5, 2 times negative 2 squared negative 0 0.19208 so we are done with k3 now moving on to k4 that's the last k value that we have to find the formula says it is a function of xn plus h yn plus h times k3 Plugging in the values, 
you would get 2 times 0 0.2 and the y value turns out to be 1 plus 0 0.2 times negative 0 0.19 208 all right and this value is negative 0 0.3698 Five seven five one five six. So you're done finding out all your k values. You would just sub in these k values into the uh, into the formula right here in order to find your y n plus one value. So y n plus one is approximately equal to y n, which is your initial value of y that is 1 plus 1 sixth of h and your h value is 0 0.2 uh, k1 is 0 plus 2 times k2 which is negative 0 0.2 plus 2 times k3 which is negative 0 0.19208 plus K4, which is negative 0 0.36985751156. And this turns out to be So your yn plus 1 value turns out to be 0 0.98, oh sorry, 0 0.961532745, and that is your final answer. Zero point nine six one five three two seven four nine five.